Well, hello everyone. Today is the day before Thanksgiving, and I am in Galveston, Texas with a fellow YouTuber and drone pilot. His YouTube channel is named A Jeep, A Drone, and An Old Man. On his channel, he has many videos and much more detailed information on the Battleship Texas progress and its history. Also, if you have a set of VR goggles, there are some really cool 360 degree VR videos. If you're able to watch these in VR, it is truly a remarkable experience. I will place a link to his channel in the description of this video below, and also a link to the live podcast we did together last week talking about the Battleship Texas. And I am really glad that we drove down to meet up, because as you can already tell, there have been some big changes just in the last week to the Battleship. When we first parked our vehicles, I thought the darkness I was seeing on the whole was just a shadow from a cloud passing by, but we soon realized the painting of the battleship had started. So what you see being applied right now is actually Billy Mays Flex Seal. No, I'm just kidding. Well, not exactly paint. What you are seeing on the stern of the vessel and the hull right now is a coating called PPG Sigma Shield 880. It is a two-part epoxy coating that is corrosion resistant and very, very resistant to harsh environmental conditions. I may be wrong, but I am fairly confident this will not be the final color of the battleship. This is only a protective coating that is being placed on the hull, and the final color of the battleship will be the original navy blue. The coating can also be seen appearing on the bottom of the bulbous bow of the battleship. I do also want to say that even though it appears right now that I am flying over the dock, this is not the case. I am using the zoom camera on the drone and I'm actually much further away from the ship than it appears. At the time of this recording, the Texas is scheduled to remain in dry dock at least through late February of 2024. Then it will return to the water at which point workers can paint the superstructure, begin replacing the deck, and also reinstall the anti-aircraft guns. If you are not already a subscriber of this channel, I strongly encourage you to do so, as I do plan on extensively documenting the refloating process of the battleship and of the dry dock sinking into the water. 